I had to move twice during this pandemic. I don't recommend that. Next pandemic, I'm moving once. Screw it. Uh, <laughs> I moved to this one place, and my roommate, who I just met, I didn't really know her, she told me that she heard me having sex, which was very embarrassing, uh, because I was, in fact, wrestling with a fitted sheet. <laughs> it's really going at it, I guess. <laughs> That's not the impression you want to make. <laughs> Like, I don't want my roommate to hear me having sex, but I also don't want her to hear me making the bed <laughs> and be like, oh, that's what he sounds like. Cool. <laughs> I don't say God damn it nearly as much in sex. That's... <laughs> now, that being said, I'm pretty sure my current roommate, Rodney, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty certain he's heard me masturbating, uh, unless he doesn't check his voicemails. <laughs> Mm. That is so rude. <laughs> you know, I never really uh, got to know that, that I still, I don't know her name, but the one that thought she heard me have it sex. Uh, <laughs> I, the, the only thing I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she was depressed because I would come home late uh, from shows and stuff like four in the morning. And every time I'd come home at like four in the morning, she would just be by herself in the living room doing a jigsaw puzzle. And that's gotta be depression. Uh, I don't know if you ever just stumbled across someone doing a jigsaw puzzle all by their lonesome, but it is poetically sad. <laughs> it's, it's just like a living metaphor for depression. You're just sitting there frustrated, trying to put the pieces back together. Can't see the big picture. Oh, breaks my heart. I've never understood the appeal of jigsaw puzzles, really. Like, it seems like you're just cleaning up a mess. You know? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like there's no payoff. Really. There's no big reveal or anything. You finish the puzzle and you're like, well, that certainly looks like the picture on the box. Uh, and I knew it would because I used the box to help me finish the puzzle. Which, you know, we're getting pretty loose with the term puzzle there. Has anyone not figured it out? <laughs> I can't imagine someone getting stumped on a jigsaw puzzle. It's like, oh man, this one's a corner. That's gotta be a clue. Oh. <laughs> Some people are really proud of their jigsaw. They'll like mat and frame a finished jigsaw puzzle, which I don't know if you've ever matted and framed something. It's way harder than a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> I don't even know why, why you would do that. <laughs> Just like you have company over, just be like, oh, yeah, that? Yeah, I got time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but. <laughs> uh, the reason I had to move in with Jigsaw Lady uh, was uh, because uh, my place before that, I, I, we had a really bad bug problem, like to the point where my roommates started siding with the bugs, making me the bad guy. <laughs> Uh, like, we'd be hanging out in the living room, and I look over on the wall, there's a big spider on the wall. So I went to go kill it, because that's what you do with monsters. Right? And my roommate stopped me, and he's like, oh, dude, you shouldn't kill spiders, uh, because they eat bugs. I was like, oh, okay, that is a compelling argument. Um, but no, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna become roommates with a big scary bug because it eats smaller, less threatening bugs. That's stupid. That'd be like if you had a party and there was a guy in the corner just creeping everybody out. And everyone's like, hey, what the hell's up with that guy? He's scaring the shit out of everybody. And you're like, oh, I know, that dude's a total creep. And I don't even know him that well, but I gotta keep him around. Because uh, he eats bugs. You don't keep things around because they eat bugs. That's not a service. <laughs> Can't be entering social contracts with spiders. <laughs>